Hi friends and welcome back to my 14th ever YouTube video on my YouTube channel. Yay! I am Hawkins Simmer and today we are doing another roommate room build. I am so pumped to get to play with this pack more. It is super fun. This time this room is actually sort of inspired by one of the rooms on my floor when I lived on campus when I was in college. There are these guys just a few doors down from me who always had their dorm room door open but would always be gaming on their giant computers on their desks like with their backs towards the door. So I set up the beds and the desks and the closets kind of exactly how it was and I don't know if you're not in college if you didn't live on campus when you were in college or are in college usually when people leave their doors open it's because they want to like interact with people passing but these two guys always had their door open but would be playing a video game like with each other I, I mean I assume I honestly didn't stop and gawk for too long but like volume blaring sometimes they would have headphones in which made it even more weird like what are you guys doing close your door and it was always very very neat and clean and their beds matched and it was like beds always made I'm not that person so like props to these two guys but yeah that's kind of the basic inspiration for this room is the layout more than anything like I said it was like pin neat in there so they didn't really have anything hanging up on the walls they didn't even have like any of our college swag kind of crap hanging up or any like there was nothing and I mean I never was fully inside the room so maybe there was on the back wall like the wall that the door was on but otherwise it was very neat and they always had the door open and it was just weird and it's something I will always remember and the one guy always like he did that like run that people talk about on the internet from from the anime thing don't roast me for not being an anime person I'm just so sorry I'm uncultured swine don't yell at me but he ran like that around campus so you know it was good times I didn't really know them at all <laughs> I didn't really know anyone on my floor I was kind of a shut-in but I took inspo from that and then just kind of added to it. Lots of people in college hang lots of things on their walls. So I added tons of posters that, I don't know, to me looked like they were supposed to be gaming posters of sorts. So I, I don't know, I chose those, kind of made a collage, added some books and things. I also added movie posters because movie posters are like a huge thing in college. Everyone's everyone wants to show off their it's always like cruel intentions always cruel intentions or not cruel intentions I'm sorry Pulp Fiction and like the Breakfast Club everyone has those movie posters I'm a big let people enjoy things but everyone has those movie posters everyone literally everyone wonder what's what's another one Pulp Fiction is the big one everyone has a Pulp Fiction poster in college and like Rocky or like I don't know what movie posters did you have in college or before I can't think of a single movie poster I had I had tons of like band posters in my in my bedroom at my home growing up not in college the only things I hung on the wall in college were pictures of my friends and I and like family and stuff but otherwise I didn't really hang a lot my side of the room was kind of in a nook by choice. I chose that and it was by the window. So I actually didn't have tons of like wall space on my like side of the room. Oh, and that's also why I didn't include the dressers that come with the university pack because my dorm building did not have dressers. We had big built-in closets, which were actually really nice. You could hang a lot and then like they went all the way to the ceiling and the part right at the ceiling were just cabinets so that you could store like I put winter coats and like extra blankets for when friends stayed and stuff up there and then it also had like a portion in it that was built in like shelves like running down so that you could put your like fold t-shirts or sweatshirts or I don't know however you do your laundry everyone does it different but <laughs> it was kind of nice that we had closets um and not dressers but really that was just my experience there were tons of other 
dorm buildings on my campus that did have big like wardrobes I guess and yeah I think I much preferred just having a big closet because ugh, the wardrobes were not as not as functional as one would think and someone I saw a picture one time of someone's like turned over on itself and it was horrifying like <laughs> horrifying but I think my my brother and I actually went to the same school and I think in his room he had a dresser maybe I don't remember honestly his room was very very different than mine it was like sectioned off I think because a long time ago they were two separate rooms and they broke down the walls in between them but left kind of a half wall so he and his roommate had their beds on one side and on the other side they had a futon and a tv table and like very bro in it up I'm pretty sure he has a Pulp Fiction poster which is funny and like Shawshank Redemption or something <laughs> this is where I'm adding those movie posters and I just kind of chose the ones that looked the most like action-y I guess and I don't know looked kind of like Tomb Raider there or something but like I said I mean otherwise it was very neat I didn't put a lot of clutter on the floor because they didn't have a lot of clutter on the floor and do you know the biggest thing that is missing from this expansion pack, the biggest thing missing, so obvious, are a futon and a beanbag chair. Do you know how many people had beanbag chairs in college? Too many. Or those weird, like, kind of chairs that were, like, spongy, that had, like, bungee cords in it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Do you shop at Target? I'm pretty sure that's that's where they're from. I don't know. But there were not enough, there were not enough strange college random seating for when your friends come over and then not everyone has to like sit on your bed. I don't know. I had like a bucket chair type kind of a thing in my room. And we also had like desk chairs, obviously. But I also didn't spend a ton of time in my room with friends when I was in college because the first semester I didn't have a TV at all. So we couldn't get together and like watch games or like, I had a friend that we went to her dorm every Tuesday to watch some show on MTV or something. But she had a beanbag chair in her room, okay? There needed to be more seating for getting together in your dorm room. But the screenshots are coming up, so I'm going to call it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload every Monday and Thursday at around 4 p.m. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. I'm so excited to be playing that's my dog drinking water as soon as I start this freaking video